Hi, I'd like to give you a little demonstration of this music composition application called Dingsoller. Dingsoller lets you connect nodes that change a talk here from the top, a pulsing signal, into music, which is then output here. Each of these nodes has a particular function. Some of them uh, store patterns, some of them are sound generators, and like this dual wave here, and some of them are effects, like a chorus. Let me give you a quick demo. So here, what's going on is the talk is sending a pulse here to this flip-flop, which picks one of the two outputs. In this case, it goes to this pattern, and if I tap on the pattern, we can see what is in it. Here it is a pattern of notes, G4, E4, D4, E4, and so on. You can click on each of these and change the note that's going to be there. You can have multiple tracks in your pattern, and you can vary the length of the pattern using the slider all the way up to 32 here. Let's close it up. And so it goes down here through this pattern. The pattern um, goes into this dual wave synthesizer module, which has two oscillators that you can choose the type of, change the envelopes, change the low frequency oscillator. And then that's output into a chorus. You can change the rate and the depth. And then that comes out to the output. Now if I flip-flop, it goes to this other pattern, which is something else. In addition, you can hook up an external MIDI keyboard other nodes, then you can, you can put them together, or you can, here for instance, this is an internal keyboard, and that goes into the wave synth here, which you know, this lets you change the type of waveform. So let's go through the help a bit. As I said, Dingsoller allows you to create complex compositions by connecting nodes together. And connections are made by dragging from the output of one node to the input of another. Uh, node and control outputs connect to any node input, and audio outputs connect to audio inputs. You can break connections by dragging them away from the connected input. Now there are many different kinds of nodes. I'm just going to go briefly, not discuss all the details, but for instance here is a doubler that can take a note and gen double it up to two to five times, a random, a random note generator, a pitch shifter that lets you shift notes up and down, the keyboard, which we saw, a pattern node, a node filter. This is interesting. It filters the node signal based on the pitch of the notes. So sometimes you know, some of the note pitches will go through and some of them won't, which lets you exclude certain notes. Flip-flop, you saw, allows you to switch which of the two inputs get sent out. Or it lets you, or I mean, it lets you pick which of the two outputs will be sent to from the input. There's also MIDI note in, which allows you to use external keyboards, MIDI note out. And there are also control nodes that let you, like, use an XY pad to control the signals, 
that go to various nodes out. Uh, there are ways to use the tilt, use the gyroscope in the iPad. There's a slider control that lets you ex change external parameters. And then there are nodes for MIDI control in, MIDI control out, and MIDI note to control. There are four different kinds of instruments. We saw the wave synth, dual wave. There are also a simple sampler that lets you load in wave files and play them. And VOCA, which is another synthesizer that mimics the sound of a resonant bodied instrument. Then there are effects nodes. There's a resonant filter a chorus, and a multi-tap delay. And as we saw, the talk note is the master timing control. It sends out notes at regular intervals determined by the tempo parameter, which then cascade down. And finally, there's the output node that routes the audio signals to the audio hardware. So, basically, it, it lets you piece together a composition based on these nodes, connecting them together and letting the signal cascade through the graph. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of Ding Soller and encourage you to give it a try. Thank you very much.